did it. <sighs> I did a thing. I did it. We did it, y'all. Um, <laughs> if we get the reference, we did it, y'all. Um, <laughs> I completed the challenge for myself. I did 29 of 31 days, and I am pretty proud of myself for that. I'm a round of applause for me. Because if anybody's going to appreciate you, you got to appreciate yourself. 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 And, and just because I've done this doesn't mean that my journey is over. Because there's always more to learn. Always, always, always. I think I've talked a little bit about a lot of it of what I've learned in previous videos. And I must say another thing that I've learned that I don't think I've discussed, at least I don't hope what I don't think I've discussed, um, is giving myself grace through the process. Um, did I do 30 days straight? No, I didn't. Did I fail? No, I didn't fail myself. I did 29 out of 31. That's good. That's what I did. And the circumstances that I had to not complete those two days were the circumstances that I had. And I still did a thing for me. And that's amazing. And I give myself grace in that. I give myself grace in other points of life as well where I'm doing something and I completely and I'm showing up for myself and I don't. I don't achieve what I set out to achieve, but I know there is no failure in that. There is a fall forward, as Denzel once said um, in that graduation speech. I fall forward, and in the moment, I've I've kind of berated myself and got sad and angry, and like, why, why did I do this? But then. I had to st take a step away and change my energy and really give myself grace for the moment and take the lesson. Let it be like grace for the learning of it all. And then what can I take out of that experience? That is a part of giving yourself grace. Sometimes we're going to not I don't want to say fall short, but I guess fall short. Yeah, fall short is the phrase that I'm looking for right now. Sometimes we're going to fall short. And you know what? We're not perfect. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay to not be perfect. But as you continue to work, you better keep purring on so you can... I was going to say fact. I don't know <laughs> what I was trying to say. But you better keep going, okay? Like the lion cat you are, you better purr on, okay? To get to that perfection because that's where that's where your achievements lie that's where i was going to say the can't stop won't stop darn it that man Ugh. i was like but as long as you keep it with the can't stop won't stop don't stop attitude you're going to reach you're going to reach you're going to reach you're going to reach what you're setting out and intending to or at least you're going to get really close and that's further than you were before but along the way, you got to give yourself grace. And I find that in yoga as well. I found that over the past 31 days, 29 out of 31 days, as I've gone into class and there were certain poses and postures that were difficult for me to hit as opposed to other days because yesterday doesn't feel like today and today may not feel like tomorrow. I gave myself grace because you know what? I showed up as hot as you know, you double hockey sticks and I'm continuing to be here and I'm going to be here and I'm going to be here tomorrow. I was here yesterday. I'm here today. I'm going to be here tomorrow. And I give myself grace for where I am because in that moment of me just showing up and being here and taking up space where I'm supposed to be, <sighs> I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And oh, I needed that because I needed that for every area, another area of my life. Even when I fall short, I'm getting better. And that falling short will allow me to stand tall in the future. Woo! Can I get a word? Oh, I just made that up, y'all. I just made that up. I, just, I'm, I don't know if I can copyright it because somebody, I feel like it was so good. Somebody else probably said it before. But even when I fall short, it gives me, it gives me the, um, even when I, falling short sets me up to stand tall. Boom, boom, boom. And I am determined to stand tall, stand tall in all of who I am and all that I stand to achieve. So 
I give myself grace along the journey of my shortcomings because I know I'm about to stand tall in what I am producing and what I'm setting out to achieve. So that is one of the biggest takeaways for me during this 29 of 31 day challenge. I call it the 30 day challenge, but we were in May. So it was a whole 31 days that I was able to do it. Um, also, I like won prizes at the studio that I was in. I had like a little cap, I got a little bitch tie, I got little glasses. So it didn't just come in. I didn't go away empty handed. I was proud to get my stuff like, give me the glasses, some of my glasses, y'all. Um, but also I, what I achieved beyond things was pride in myself and knowing that I can do what I set out and say that I can do, even though it wasn't 30 days straight. <laughs> I was close and they say shoot for the stars because if you don't make it there at least you'll no shoot for the moon oh fudge i messed up the quote but it's okay i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna give it to you this, you know what the quote was i don't know if you know i kind of said it a little bit but shoot for the moon because even if you miss you end up with the stars and now at the end of this journey i feel like i'm in a whole constellation because i'm shining like a star all right and i want you to shine like a star too so give yourself grace give yourself grace for where you fall short because you know it's just a momentary lesson for you to stand tall all right i will talk to you later and i'm gonna need for you to love your self-care have a good day bye